What's up YouTube? This is Yard of Terror Kentucky coming at you with another horror block opening. Um, I just got this today. Uh, I was supposed to get it on Saturday, but I have this box sent to my work right now. I did that because of safety reasons for my mailbox at the apartment, but I think from now on if I get any more of these, I'm going to start sending them to my house or the apartment mailbox instead because I don't see why I haven't been in the beginning but this was supposed to have been delivered Saturday which I don't work on Saturday so I couldn't get it until today so this is going to be January's horror block technically we're still opening it in January which is very cool because usually you don't get it until like the first or second week of that following or the next month. So I'm actually opening January's box in January, which is kind of cool. Um, they switched up my box once again. They gave me the one with all the, the new box. It is in the plastic wrap. In the back, I'm not going to show you the bottom. It's got my address and stuff on it. Um, but I have not taken it out of the plastic wrap yet. So, let's do that now. We'll take this plastic wrap off and dig into the box. Like I say, it's pretty cool they put this plastic wrap on it. I guess because that helps seal everything in and make sure everything doesn't get wet and stuff like that. Alright. So, I'll let you all see it first, as usual. Ooh. I've not seen it, so hopefully it's on the video. Not seeing it yet. Alright. Put the shirt for last, as usual. And, let's begin. Um, this month's theme, or movies, I should say, was Silence of the Lambs. Resident Evil, My Bloody Valentine, and more. And there's supposed to have been five exclusive items, so let's find out. Um, first, let's dig into the Resident Evil item, which says that it is a Resident Evil Stars Badge Diecast Replica, the 20th Anniversary Resident Evil. Let's find out what that is. Alright. So, this is a police badge for the Raccoon City Police Department. Um, I myself personally have not watched any of the Resident Evils besides like teasers and stuff like that. I know they just came out with a new one, but... I'm getting this out of the bag. This is like a little magnetic back. It just clips on the back. So it's kind of like a little, it's metal. It's just a little police badge that you can wear. So that's very different and cool, I guess. There's that. The next item is a brown box. I have no clue what's in it. So, I gotta get the box cutter out for this one. It's kind of heavy, so I don't know what's in this. Don't know if I'm opening it upside down or not, because I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't tell you what's in it. And it's upside down. Of course. Alright. So, the mysterious item that's in the brown box is a glass, a mason jar, and it says poison on it. That's kind of cool. It's glass. It's a little mason jar. And that's kind of cool. Hmm. I know my partner will use this more than I will probably because he likes drinking out of these with the handles on them. So that's kind of cool. He'll like that. Alright. 
The next item, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> um, the next item is awesome. It's from Jaws, and it is a um, an Amity Island Swim Club button or like a, a pin, a lapel pin. That's kind of cool. I'm a big Jaws fan, so that is really cool. Awesome. Um. Oh wow. Next is a air freshener. Uh, a Camp Crystal Lake Jason air freshener. It says that it's pine scented, obviously, because Jason lives or hides in the woods. But I don't think I'm going to use this. I'm probably going to put this on the wall with our other collection stuff. That's kind of cool. Very different. Um, this next item, my partner already knew what this is. So he's not going to be excited about this one as I told him not to spoil it for me. But that is the Silence of the Lambs beanie. And it's got the death's head moth on there. And it's just a black beanie. Um, he's the Silence of the Lambs fan, so I'm going to give that to him. So that's kind of cool. He just got, um, I got him one of these moths for Christmas, so he'll like this. Pretty cool. Um, next we have, ha, huh, they have changed it up. We do not have the Rue Morgue magazine this month. I don't see it. Instead, I have a Rue Morgue magazine authorized Phantasm Film Company book. Uh, I don't know if everybody got this. I don't know if this is something new that they're doing, but it says that it's a Phantasm Film book. Film Companion book. Um, it's colored on the inside. So this is very different. Pretty cool. I know my partner will like this a lot. Um, it's got all kinds of different movies in it and stories about the movies and characters. So that's kind of cool. It's very different. Um, next... I uh, guess this is the Bloody Valentine, my Bloody Valentine 3D item. It's just a, a postcard that says, Be Mine, and there's that. So that's kind of weird. I don't, I don't guess I got, I got an email that was sent out that said that 1,500 people will get a autographed item from, uh, the director of the 1980s My Bloody Valentine, but I don't guess I got that item because it's not in here. Unless this was supposed to be signed and I didn't win. Or I didn't get it signed or whatever. But it's okay. Still got some cool stuff though. Alright. Um, that is it on the box besides the shirt. We'll get to that in a minute. I just got the punch card, which I use that myself. And they've changed up our cheat sheet. It's now in a book, which is very different. Um, before I get to the book, I'm going to do the shirt. Oh, wow. He's going to love this shirt. All right. So, in my opinion... It looks like a mummy skull, which there's the shirt. We went with his shirt size again on this box because we were thinking it was going to be a Silence of the Lamb shirt, but instead it's like a, a skull mummy, which that's kind of cool. I think he'll like it. All right, let's get to this little box paper. Alright, it says 
Freddy Krueger's most creative kills, exclusive Q&A with the creators of Event Zero, what's inside January's box, and a sneak peek of February's horror block. So I guess this is something new that they're going to start doing. Um, just kind of tells you welcome nerd nation and stuff like that. Uh, there's some stuff about Freddy Krueger. He wasn't in this box. He was in last month's box. Uh, let's see. And then it gets starts getting into what's into January's horror block right here. Alright. So this is going to tell me right here what everything is in my box. Um, it is just the Silence of the Lambs beanie which is not an exclusive, which I thought it was supposed to be, but, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not. Next is the Resident Evil replica badge, which it was an exclusive. The next item is the Poison Glass Mason Jar, an exclusive. Um, the Amity Island pin was an exclusive item. The My Bloody Valentine card was exclusive, but it wasn't signed, so I don't, I don't get why it was exclusive. Um, the Jason Mask Air Freshener was an exclusive. The Rumorg Phantasm Book was not exclusive. And then you got the Mummy Shirt. So it is a mummy. It's pretty cool. Well, that was really, oh, that's a lot of stuff this month. You got eight items this month, which is a lot. I'm impressed. Alright. Next page, it just talks about their new nerd block, game block. <clears throat> that you can get. Or no, it says, can you spot the difference? That's a little puzzle. My bad. And it goes in to talk about Marvel. And just talks about the eShop. And that's it. It doesn't tell you what's in, it doesn't tell you what's in February's box which um, I've actually looked on the website. It's Amityville Horror and a couple of others. I'm probably not going to get that box. We're not fans of any of the stuff that is on that box. So we'll be skipping that one. I don't think we were going to get a different box from them, from NerdBlock. But all of them this month are kind of just like, no, nah, not any good. So I think we're going to skip the next month and check out what March has to have, or March is doing. Um, so, we'll be kind of skipping a month, so sorry about that. But yeah, um, overall, like I said, that's, that's it on the box. I was very impressed with this box. It has a lot of stuff in it. Um, so yeah, I was very pleased with it. A lot of stuff that we were not expecting is in this box. Um, so yeah, um, till next time guys, like I said, I'm going to take a month of absence on the unboxing. Um, so we'll see you in March, possibly the end of February, probably not the end of February because that'll, I think they're going to start getting into the swing of giving you the box for that month at the end of the month. So I guess check out, uh, be on my channel and watch out for probably the end of March um, if I end up getting that box. So just keep an eye out. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Um, comment down below. And we'll see you next time.